guys and welcome to another TGV tutorials and updates. Um, this is a tutorial on how to make your voice sound a lot better if you're commentating. Um, obviously, I've probably, um, you know, I haven't really changed my voice right now because I'm not using Audacity. I, I never use Audacity when I'm recording my voice, um, when I'm recording Audacity things. Um, I do use Audacity, however, when I'm recording gameplay and stuff like that, but not tutorials because... With that, it's just be too much of a hassle. I'd rather just use Camtasia Studios, fine uh, recording software. But and for now, that's what I'm using. But for like games and stuff, it's I usually use Audacity now, anyways, because last time I didn't, and it sounded horrible. So now, hopefully, I had a new microphone. I hope this sounds better, um, even without the effects. So let's get jumped right into this tutorial here. So what you want to do is record a little a tidbit of your voice. I've already done that right here, and uh, this is what it sounds like without. Um, the effects. Hello guys and welcome to another TGV tutorials and updates. Um, obviously you will hear, um, sadly, you know, the this it would sound echoish because I'm have my speakers on right now. I don't really have headsets on because they didn't feel like having them on. So sorry for that. Um, you know what? I think I'll just end up going and taking that off, taking my volume down. There we go. That's better. Now. Um, what we want to do is to make this all smooth out right here this voice part is we want to go to where it's complete silence or near it or near complete silence we're going to click on the spot before the voice and we're going to drag all the way to the beginning all right then we're going to go to effect and then we're going to go to noise removal then we're going to go to uh, get noise profile and that'll just sample that right there and then I uh, go to effect again and then you go to noise removal and then you can change to less or more noise removal. I'm just gonna go to more. And then for me, it's um, remove noise. I think if it uh, different versions, it depends on what version you have. I think I have like a late, like an early version. I really didn't feel like getting an update, so uh, this is what I have. It's simple. If you have another update, if you have like an updated version or a non-updated version, you might get like frequency and decay and stuff like that. Change those settings to preference your voice to see. You know. I to see how well it matches out for you but I'm just gonna put it up more and then click remove noise and uh, then we'll have nothing there it won't be static it won't be nothing and so we're gonna do that to the end as well we're gonna go to where it ends the voice and then I'm gonna click and then drag all the way to the end and then go back up to effect noise removal get noise profile effect again noise removal remove noise and there we go. Now there's no noise in between at all. Let's click about here and to right there, and then we'll see the noise. Hello, guys, and welcome to another TGV tutorials and updates. And there we go. Now to make your voice sound even a little bit better, you're gonna highlight the spot where your voice is. All right. So just click at the beginning of your voice, and then drag it all the way to here. And then you can change the amount of highlight you can you want to so where you go like um, go inside this box this highlighted box go to the edge and wait until you see like a little hand pointing to it and then that way you can click and drag where you want the highlight to be so I'm gonna keep it at there and then you can go to effect bass boost don't change the frequency you don't really want to mess with that go to boost and then change it to either 204 2 or 4 not 204 and I'm just gonna choose 4 and um, I'm gonna click OK and that'll make it sound a lot better so now we got that all fixed make and now we're going to save it and export it so what we're going to do is uh, unhighlight this by just clicking anywhere on the spot right here make sure it's not plain go to file and go to export as WAV alright or wave whatever you want to call it and I'm just going to save it to my desktop for uh, for time's sake I'm going to name this uh, tut uh, with effects I guess uh, sorry for the bang in my microphones in my hand. I don't have like a steady up rig right now. So, um, yeah, we're going to save that as a tut with effects. Save that. Now, what we're going to do is uh, exit out of this. Yes, yes, save that before. Well, actually, no, we're not going to save this because we don't really need it anymore. So, that's tut without effects. That's the one I previously recorded in tut with effects. So, what we're going to do now is go into our Sony Vegas and we're going to import the media. I'm going to go to our desktop. I'm going to go to Tut with Effects. All right. I'm going to open that up. I'm going to click on that and drag it down into the into the timeline. 
And then we can, to make this a lot bigger so we have more room to look at this, we can just go down to this little uh, scrolling bar, this little horizontal scroll bar, click on the, on the end of it, and click and hold until you get a double arrow, and then click and then drag it out, drag it down so you can get more room there. And then what you're going to do is, um, there should be a, on a new track, on this audio track, there should be a little green uh, box with things pushing on each side. It should say track effects, click on that. Now, this should pop up, the track compressor, don't worry about that, but now I'm going to play with that. The track noise gate, don't worry about that either, just untick that, you don't need that at all. Go to track equalizer, that's the thing we're going to look at here. Um, now, for one, we're going to go and to frequency, I'm going to change that to about 87, alright? For the gain, we're going to change that to 2.3, and then we're just going to leave that at 12. Now, if we go to this tab too, we're going to change this frequency to, I believe it was 12? Uh, Alright, I figured it out. Um, okay, so the frequency on 2 is going to be a 135. Uh, 135. And the gain, we're going to change that to negative 2.9. And we're going to leave the bandwidth and the. We're going to leave that alone, and we're going to. And the roll off on 1 is going to leave that alone. Keep those at the defaults, and we're gonna keep all the bandwidth and roll offs on these all these tabs at default right now. So for the frequency on three, we're gonna to go to 227, and for the gain, we're just gonna go back to negative 2.9. All right, leave that as it is. And four for the fourth tab, we're gonna to go to 4,880, and then we're gonna to go to the gain and change that to 2.6. All right, now that we got that all good. Uh, <clears throat> we've got all that taken care of. Now we're going to go up to this little box again that looks like it. It go says plug in chains. Click on that and you should look for the uh <clears throat> the gate that's um uh says smooth slash enhance. All right? Now that will bring out the smoothest and enhance or enhance your voice and depending on what you want. Now, after you click on that, uh go to add and then click okay and then this little dialog box should pop up here now <clears throat> you can change the enhance to fit your voice or whatever you want you know I usually prefer I prefer personally prefer two or one I never go above that so um, <clears throat> once you pick in your settings with a negative two or negative five or five or four or three whatever I'm choosing two after you've chosen yours click the little red X uh, exit close button there and then you will be able to um, and then that's it. That's pretty much your you're done. You're done with your voice and you're done with everything you needed. So um yeah, thank you guys for uh watching this tutorial. I hope this uh really helps you. And at the end of the video right now, I'm going to show you guys what it sounds like without the effects and what it sounds like with the effects. Hopefully there's a difference, but I don't know cuz my microphone's really good, so it might not have changed very much. But hopefully it will with you if your microphone isn't that well and you want to enhance your voice. So there you guys go. Hope this tutorial helped you, and I hope you guys can do a lot more with your commentating. Thank you, and remember to subscribe to be part of the Golden Audience. Later, I'm Peace Out. Hello guys, and welcome to another TGV Tutorials and Updates. Hello guys, and welcome to another TGV Tutorials and Updates.